have you ever seen a Sukunia? Well, I hope I never see one. But in case I do, I have my salt. And I have my pepper. You want to know why I have that? Well, I read what Mr. Aladdin write about the Sukunia. You want to hear? Listen closely. <coughs> but don't get frightened, eh? You hear? Make sure and don't get frightened. Listen. <coughs> One morning at about two o'clock, a farmer got up when he heard strange noises in his pen in the backyard. He went out to see what was wrong. And on looking closely at his animal, he saw something black on the neck of his best cow. Blood was dripping down the side of the neck. He recalled that he had seen dry blood on another cow the morning before. As he walked up to the animal, a ball of fire arose and darted outside. He rushed out and saw it flying away. He realized that it was a sukunya. It was a sukunya that used to suck the blood of the animals and the people in the village. Every few months, this used to happen and much death and sickness was brought about through the loss of blood. In the morning, he told the neighbors about the sukunya and they were afraid that more damage to life would be done by the creature. They decided to protect their village. That night, the head of every house kept watch. The farmer hid in his pen and just after midnight, the sukunia flew in. The man made a noise and she flew away. He called out to the neighbors and they all began following the ball of fire as it flew through the air. Word was passed on and on and people kept tracking the flame until it started to descend. It landed at an old shack at the end of the village where a wicked old woman lived. She used to shout and curse any children who came near her house and they were afraid of her. Many persons were in time to see the old lady put on her skin. For the Sukunya always takes it off before going out at night to seek food. Mm. Now the farmer and his friends plan to destroy this creature. The next night, they waited at the house until she returned from her trip. They had robbed salt and pepper inside the skin. When the Sukunya returned and put on her skin, it began to burn her so much. And she started to hop and sing a song. Kim, Kim, you don't know me. Kim, Kim, you don't know me. Then they pushed her inside a barrel, which they nailed up. Then they rolled the barrel to the pond nearby and dumped it into the water. From then on, no animals or person in that village was ever attacked. By a sukunya again. So beware of the sukunya. Make sure you have your salt and pepper ready. Until
Till we meet again.